And still from Indonesia, where difficulties in raising capital and funding is still an issue faced by many small businesses in Indonesia. For many of these micro, small to medium-sized businesses, inadequate bookkeeping of cash flow or simply low cash flow hampers their application process in requesting for capital or loans. Micro, small to medium-sized businesses are the backbone of Indonesia's economy. In 2021, micro, small to medium-sized businesses contributed to 61% of Indonesia's GDP. Despite their importance to Indonesia's economy, many small businesses are still facing difficulties in securing capital and funding. The deputy head of Indonesia's People's Consultative Assembly, Lestari Mordijat, said that one of the biggest problems faced by small businesses lies in the application process for requesting capital. When small businesses apply a request for capital, the lenders check the business's credit history, which is found within the Financial Information Service System. However, many small businesses have smaller cash flow and this often results in the rejection of capital funding requests. Sektor MKM masih mengalami kesulitan permodalan dan uh, sementara kita tahu persis bahwa permodalan sebetulnya adalah hal yang sangat diperlukan dan untuk kemudian bangkit serta dapat pulih titik tumbuh dari UMKM adalah permodalan. BI checking misalnya. Banyak sekali para pelaku yang kemudian terbentur dengan aturan yang ada Bagaimana kemudian PI checking membuat akhirnya uh, para pengusaha kecil dan menengah juga uh, mendapatkan hambatan dalam memperoleh akses permodalan. Meanwhile, the director of Spark Labs Incubation from the University of Pelita Harapan, Raditio Fajar Arianto, believes that the financial information service system should be temporarily removed to make it easier for small businesses to apply for loans. This could be complemented with some restrictions, such as limiting loans to 10 million rupiah. Nevertheless, removing the financial information service system could make it easier for small businesses to secure loans and funding, which is much needed during the challenging conditions brought on by the pandemic. Jadi si si BI checking ini nggak usah dilihat dulu deh. Gitu. Mungkin ini usulan yang kontroversial, nggak bisa diterima oleh beberapa orang. Tetapi dengan kita melakukan ini, sebenarnya pemerintah tidak apa itu ya uh, spending money satu satu rupiah pun gitu karena hanya menghapus rekor atau menghentikan rekor checkingnya ini dulu untuk UMKM untuk pinjaman yang mungkin di bawah 10 juta atau 20 juta biarlah masyarakat itu bisa mengakses dulu dana gitu dan mereka bisa tumbuh dan recovery kita On the other hand the founder of the People's Business and Economic Institute Tri Mumpuni says that timing and seeking business opportunities is more important than the ability to secure capital. Keberhasilan itu adalah timing. Jadi seorang harus ini Pak membuat yang namanya uh, bayar persona gitu ya. Dia dia tahu dia harus membuat ya tokoh fiktif lah sebagai pembeli. Jadi timing untuk melihat perspektif pembeli itu seperti apa. Kalau misalnya hujan deras mau jual es krim gitu kan. Ternyata dana itu yang terakhir. Bisnis model ini ada bisnis model kanvas untuk tahu peta kompetitor kita siapa, apa keunikan produk kita. As per July 2021, over 3.59 million micro, small to medium sized businesses have received benefits from the economic recovery program. This includes direct cash assistance, assistance in paying for loan interest, all of which amounts to over 285 trillion rupiah in assistance funding. However, businesses cannot rely on subsidies forever. At some point, they must be able to stand on their own two feet. And if they cannot secure loans or capital, then it will be very difficult for small businesses in Indonesia to operate effectively or even survive at all.